All right, so a few things I've been working on today. This is the TI-55 that I recently purchased, which actually needs quite a lot of work. I haven't actually restored the battery pack yet. Here are the halves of the battery pack. It takes two NICAs, which I might replace with nickel metal hydrides, I'm not sure yet. Uh, and then it boosts it up to nine volts, which means you can run this off a nine volt battery. And if you look at the side of this battery case, you can see that there used to be a spot for nine volts to come out because there is a version of this pack that takes replaceable nine volt batteries. So I hooked it up to a nine volt battery, which I'll carefully flip over so you can see. This is one of those insane products where black is positive and red is negative. Look at that. And I had been warned about this online. Some of them are like this and some of them are the correct way around. Just what a nightmare. All right. So one of the cool things about this calculator is that it has a whole bunch of conversions built in right on the pad here. So for example, uh, 5.68 inches to millimeters, it's 144.272 millimeters. If I wanna convert back, second invert millimeters to inches, 5.68, super handy. Gallons to liters, pounds to kilograms, a lot of, uh, and Fahrenheit to Celsius, degrees to radians, gradients to radians, um, at least I think that's what those are for. Uh, a lot of calculators would have this sort of feature, but they definitely wouldn't be the primary secondary functions, which is kind of a neat thing about this calculator. Uh, interestingly, if you look closely here, we have polar to rectangular, but no rectangular to polar, at least that I've been able to find. I have to go through the uh, owner's manual and see if that is the case unless you just do second invert polar to rectangular I have no idea could try that so let's do like 8.5 swap registers 12.5 second invert polar to rectangular oh it's working hard 55 would be the angle I guess 15 okay maybe that is how it's done so <laughs> I just proved myself wrong on camera. Now the more exciting thing, uh, I'm going to work on that battery pack. The more exciting thing is this bad boy. TI-59. Probably one of my favorite calculators. I spent the last, gosh, at least two hours working on restoring the battery pack for this. I thought it was going to be a simple job. Turned out not to be a simple job, but it's done. Look at that zero, that glorious zero. I had tested this calculator before by running it off of a power supply, so I knew it worked fine. Running off the power supply, um, it was a pretty weak power supply, it didn't have a whole lot of uh, current. I think it was 500, less than 500 milliamps. So it would work fine, but if you tried to read cards, it was a bit hit or miss. So one of the things that I was eager to do was to run this calculator diagnostic, get to see how the card reader on this thing works. So you stick it in the side here, As you can see, the number one comes up, showing that we have read program one on the card. Then you take the magnetic card and you stick it in a little slot here. So it shows you what each button does. This is the calculator diagnostic. So if I press E, you're gonna see it think really, really hard. And if it comes up all eights, basically every segment lit, that means it passed. So we'll go ahead and execute that. And boom, all eight. So this is a fully working TI-59 running on battery power. Oh, this was so much work. Uh, so, so happy that it's working. Now, interestingly, this came with this little booklet with the master library module, which, was, which came with all of these calculators. So nothing terribly rare or interesting about that. What was a little bit more interesting was that there's a whole bunch of blank cards in the back here. Uh, some of them have stuff on them. The head cleaning card and the drive roller cleaning card. Super happy to have those. Those are hard to find and people ask a lot for them on eBay. But there's a few programs here. Lunar Lander, which I haven't tried yet. Uh, below that, Biorhythmic Bio something. So it looks like you put in your birth date and today's date and then it'll tell you something but I have to figure out how that works 
Uh, I wonder how that does work. Maybe it's year, month, day or something. Uh, and then the rest, so these ones with the black header, I was trying to, uh, you know, test writing some stuff to these cards. The ones with the black header seem to work fine. The fully yellow cards, it was struggling with. So let's go ahead and try reading this Lunar Lander. We'll see if it is able to read it now. No. Nope. Yeah, 27, so there was some error. I'll try once more. No, that's too bad. I would like to know what that game was, but I'm just super, super happy that this thing works. The card reader is working. Um, and recently I picked up a second master library module. Sorry, another mo library module, not the master library module. That's the one that comes with it. I picked up the electrical engineering one, which is super, super cool. So these came with these little cards. These aren't magnetic cards. They're just inserts so that you can uh, keep track of what you're doing. So if we go second program zero one, and then we do subroutine second run stop, we get 11. That's module 11. So it's just done a check and uh, the module is working, which is great. Uh, it has a whole bunch of really cool functions. Um, I do a lot of work with electrical engineering. Uh, so these might actually be used in my line of work, which is really, really cool. So yeah, super, super happy with the restoration. Um, I have actually that second module, let me just put this uh, magnetic card away. That electronics engineering module came with this extra baggie that had a few, just move this out of the way, a few extra cards and stuff in here. And one of the things in here, and I'll actually dump this out, I haven't looked at all of them yet. There's an extra calculator diagnostic. So if anyone out there has a TI-59 and you live in Canada or the US and you need a di diagnostic strip, let me know, I can send you that one. Or I can always write a copy. These look like they're just a bunch of blanks that are all stuck together. That's good to have some more blanks. But yeah, let me know if you need one and I will gladly send one to you. Uh, yeah, anyway, super excited, just wanted to post that. Thank you so much for joining the group if you have. Um, I'll be posting more stuff like this as I get more time to work on these calculators. Thanks.